up YouTube? My name is Timmy. I'm the new drummer for Absolution. And you might notice that I have better personality than, than the old drummer. Um, we won't say any names. But. <coughs> anyway, we're all here today because lots of things have been happening in the Absolution camp lately. A member change. This is Fireside Chat with Ian Zuckerman. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> we have some new tour dates coming up. Hopefully we'll be a lot busier this year, spread the word across the country, and gain new fans, and satisfy some of our existing fans. We aim to please. We aim to please. Satisfaction is key. Good like yes. We got some new material. We got Cotton. new new promo shots coming. Silk? Yes. I seem to have the same congestion problems as the old drummer does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, for this question and answer thing, do we just want to read them all off as they come through? I was bum rushed by two lovely ladies who knocked me off of uh, the box that I was standing on, almost giving my drummer a heart attack, and almost breaking an arm. Greensburg, Pennsylvania. It was a very sad night, very tragic. What I saw before me was my bass player falling backwards, and how did it affect my playing? I'm not really sure. I just remember being scared. <laughs> I remember uh, hoping that the show would keep going on and that we wouldn't have an injured member. But he took it like a champ. Kept that shit going. It'd probably be the opening night of the Taproot tour we did over the summer where we opened up in Las Vegas and there was a giant drop curtain in front of the stage. And it was on actuators, so there was no like, pulley system by people. It was just a machine pulling it, and it got caught on mic stand. And as we were going on, it pulled the entire mic stand and everything in, up into the rafters, and you just saw the text scrambling to try and bring it back. And it was the opening song of the first night of the tour on our first tour. Well, since I'm new with Absolution, I feel like I should say I can't answer that question yet. But uh, I'd like to answer that question at some point. Maybe, maybe I'm gonna knock Will off a of stage and and uh, cause some havoc. Maybe cut a couple of Mark's dreads off, something like that. But shit's gonna happen. You just wait and see. The prank day. At the end of every tour, it's tradition that you prank. You know, each band pranks each other. And when we were out with Taproot, um, we had a. We had a prank planned, but uh, we went before them. So the whole the whole time during our set, we keep seeing the members of Taproot walking around and suspiciously being around the, the stage. And so I kept looking looking over, and I'd see Steven, and I'd see Phil, like just waiting for something to hit me. And then they stole our ship, and that was the prank. And we didn't even realize because we were just focusing on everything else. But I don't know. That's to me that sticks out because I looked forward to. You know, being pranked, but was so cautious of what was going to happen that I was like, couldn't really focus on the set. I thought it was funny. Uh, I think you need to try the search under 98 degrees, and you'll see a lot of stuff on there. So check it out. The room music video is something that we've all had some interest in. Uh, I do believe that it is something that is coming relatively soon as we've been working on new material and I hate this <laughs> uh, there's plenty of videos of us on YouTube you just have to go to our site and you can see them at youtube.com backslash no absolution you just do absolution and song title good to go and 
we will never shoot a real music video because the camera is not big enough to hold B-Man's enormous head. There are lots of videos. There's actually a lot of remix videos that people put to anime, and there's people jumping off of cliffs, like just randomly jumping into water holes. Um, just like Will said, search, you know, absolution or no absolution, a song title, and you'll find all kinds of crazy stuff. I thought Dry County was a pretty decent video on the DVD. Guess not. It's not a real music video. Um, what makes it real? Yeah, yeah, what makes it real? That's my question to you. What makes it real? Because, I mean, that was us really doing Dry County. And it's really edited, and it's really on the DVD. So, I don't know what's... I think Leah Stump should tell us what defines reality. Yeah, if, if you know, if we have a guideline of what a real video is. But there's, there's, I know that there's stuff from all over the tour we were posting, all kinds of stuff. I don't know. Music video will be coming soon. When I say soon, within the next period of time. Right after the Idolize EP comes out. Right after the Idolize EP. No Idolize. What a